There's no way to describe what happened at, at O'Brien Stadium this past Saturday when Eastern Illinois defeated Northern Iowa 31 to 30 on a dramatic 58 yard field goal by Rich Amke. Al, as I said, I can't describe it. I'm going to try to leave it yeah. up to you to put it in words. Well, as I said Saturday after the game, really, <clears throat> it's hard to say all of the good things you want to say when something like that happens. But um, the game had everything. You know, it certainly was a classic. We talked last week about it possibly being a classic, and, and it certainly was. It was a game between two evenly balanced teams or evenly matched teams. And the first half was, uh, you know, a great defensive struggle. And the last 10 minutes turned out to be uh, an explosive uh, show of fireworks. So uh, I'm just glad that uh, that in the end, uh, Rich Emke had it in his foot and uh, had the uh, fortitude to stand out there and, and kick a 58-yard field goal through for the win. So I any don't know what to say other than that. Yeah, any hesitancy in your part? No, yard no, I really felt that, uh, you know, the odds were heavily against um, Northern Iowa getting beat deep on, on that situation. And I uh, knew that another pass would end the game. So felt like uh, with the wind at our backs, uh, you know, the wind on the ground was somewhat of a factor. But all throughout the game, it had held up the punch. So I felt, well, maybe the wind up, up a little higher, stronger, and uh, it could carry. And, and Rich has 50-yard capability in his leg. So and uh, he hit it just right. He hit it just right. We got slow rotation on the ball, and it hooked in and looked to me like it cleared the bar by about uh, two, three feet, maybe. Yeah, OK. Al, the highlights of this game are endless. We're going to go to those right now, and you can just kind of continue to chat about it okay. uh, throughout the, the contest. <clears throat> we had a nice day for the game, and I was glad to see that instead of playing in the mud. And, uh, Mike Smith, Northern Iowa's quarterback, is really a, uh, an excellent football player, one of the premier players in our league, no doubt. Defensively, I thought we played well. Offensively, uh, we sputtered a little bit early, and uh, I think both teams made some mistakes. Here's a nice run by James Marable, who's really in the groove as far as the running back is concerned uh, uh, this year. He's, he's uh, making great cuts and, and really having a great season. Here's the first blown call by the officials. Uh, that was not a fumble. That, that uh, is what we call a shovel pass, and it was a play that we had put in for this game. And, <clears throat> and here they go down the seam and hit their fine tight end. And uh, we had trouble handling their height at receiver all day long. And <clears throat> Northern Iowa shows some early signs of movement. <clears throat> However, we get them shut down, and I know we had a you know, a real determined effort by a defense all, all throughout the afternoon. Here's a great catch by Wilhelms. He stops, avoids the first tackle, and, and gets up the field another 15, 20 yards early in the game. Yeah, Derek's a converted uh, <coughs> linebacker who's playing right. tight end this year and doing well. Right. Here's the only pick of the day. Really, it went off of uh, Derek's hands. He could have probably caught that ball. Uh, here they come on a little counter. Nice hit by Bob Bruno. The defense is swarming, and that's what it takes. You know, it takes 11 players getting to the football in a game like this. And you know, Al, they really didn't have any success running against us at all, all day long. No, they didn't. It. You know, in fact, uh, I think people, we, and we were concerned about their balance and the fact that they would uh, uh, come in with a, an imposing running game. But uh, when it was all said and done, uh, we had outrushed them by quite a bit in the game and uh, had the leading rusher in the game and had more balance than they did. Uh, <clears throat> there's uh, Scott Frankie catching a pass uh, who had a great last two minutes of the game. Here they go to Boyd. Uh, Carl Boyd is a, a great back and we're just not getting into coverage. He's real quick, hard to cover. Fortunately, they had a penalty. And uh, our defense is uh, using some of the tactics that we see against us. We're blocking passes at the line of scrimmage on Smith, who's, who's also short. Field goal wide right. <clears throat> First half really kind of uh, saw both teams moving offensively, but not really putting it in the end zone. And uh, that was true of us, too. We went down the field and, and uh, just didn't get it in the end zone. A nice catch by Pierce, and you can see how hard he is to tackle and what great speed he has. Uh, he's certainly having a great senior year and one of, our, one of our real leaders on our football team for us. Here's Sean Payton coming out against undermanned coverage, and and Sean continues to have the uh, All-American season that you like to see out of a senior quarterback. He, he's really our leader on the field. Here's James Marable making a great cut and run again. And uh, we're moving. We're really moving. We're down in there close. 
Here Peyton comes out running again inside the 10, six yard line. <clears throat> right after this one, we're gonna see a fourth right. down now. Uh, fourth fourth and, one. and one. And on this play, uh, you can't really see it there, but Dwayne got confused on the side of the call and the snap count and ended up late getting to the, to the play and uh, had to jump and was short. And uh, so we, we just sort of miscued there. Defense goes in and shuts them down. Here they come, here comes Smith trying to run out on us and we do a pretty good job of containing him. I felt we contained him pretty well. Northern Iowa has a uh, premier punter. I tell you, that guy really had a day against us and uh, he's done well all year long. Uh, the film showed us that he was, uh, uh, you know, an excellent punter. Here we go long to Kane. Now, we felt there's interference on this play, but it wasn't called. The defensive back was not going for the ball, and he put his hand on our uh, Kane's shoulder. Here we, uh, we have Pierce open, and same play that we used against Southern Illinois. Pierce just didn't get the handle on that ball. <clears throat> and, uh, here's an interception by Dan Paluski, who's playing a great senior year. And uh, Dan is a, is a great team player and doing, doing real well. We're real pleased to see that. Tell Here's me. a third down catch by Kane. And this dug us out of a hole, a big hole. And uh, here we, uh, one of their linemen makes another good play and stops our third down. This is uh, the last series here right. of the first half and we're gonna see another nice defensive effort. Right, I'll tell you what, our defense is really coming up the field and uh, we, for the most part, uh, kept them contained all day and uh, really shut down their running game. Boy, I was glad to see that because I tell you, Peebles and Boyd are two of the best backs in the conference, and they have a very strong offensive line, and, and like we do. And, and uh, here we get through to Smith, uh, Scott Pilkerton, another senior. Uh, great play. Kickoff, second half, scores 0-0. Zero, zero. Kind of hard to believe. Well, that's for sure. Uh, and Greg Ray returns it to about the 22-yard line, and, and we go to work. Uh, we made an adjustment at the half. We started switching banks to the other side of the field to uh, confuse the coverages a little bit and make them work a little harder. Here we hit a draw to Pitts. He runs up the field, picks up first down, <clears throat> and then after that series, we end up with a punt. The wind held that one up, and uh, I think this is where Northern Iowa drives and scores, isn't it? Yeah, this is their first score. Right, here they come outside with a little, they started faking the inside play and trying to come off the edge and uh, still running off tackle with some basic football and we adjusted real well to it. Here's another good defensive play. I tell you, we handled them at the offensive line. We, our defensive line really played well, contained Smith and uh, we shut down their running game, forced them to go to the air. And here Scott Frankie does catch the ball, makes a good play. Uh, we squeezed that off tackle play. Rick Zeman made that play. And uh, here they went against our, uh, they went to their big, big tall wideouts and, and uh, they had outstanding success uh, throwing that fade pattern against us. That turned out to be the game winner right there, that uh, missed point. We come right back with a screen, next possession. <clears throat> Marable up the field, another fine run. And uh, it seems like, you know, in the games uh, this far that uh, when we get behind, we explode offensively very soon. And, and uh, it seems like it takes that. Now, there's a great catch by Wilhelms. And unfortunately, he was in the wrong position, but we'll take the catch. <laughs> great third down catch by Banks to keep the drive alive. alive. And here it is again. Uh, there's a pro scout in the stadium Saturday watching Roy, and I know he was very impressed. There's uh, Marable off the side and uh, gets us down inside to about the two-yard line, and, and uh, then we punch, James punches it in, and, and we're on the board. So that, that immediately followed their uh, touchdown, and now we're ahead 7-6. <clears throat> they come back, and uh, one of the few times or a couple of times this on the afternoon that Boyd got loose out of the backfield up the seam on us. Here they miss the handoff point and, uh, and then they uh, kick a long field goal, Dave. And they go up 9-7 and right. uh, 258 left in the third quarter. I think the third quarter ended with the, uh, the score at 9-7 and uh, I believe anyway. 
And uh, here they, they come out throwing and they're working the ball downfield against our secondary. And Same drive early in the fourth quarter. Early here. fourth quarter now. Good defensive play by Bob Bruno, another senior. Good, there they sneak for a first down. And uh, here they're working it in. They're, they've got strong backs that uh, are not big backs, but they're very strong and uh, do a good job. Of, and here we uh, break up a pass play, and uh, then they go. This is a fourth down catch. They had two fourth down touchdowns against us Saturday afternoon. And 10-16 uh, left in the game, and now's when it all started, the fireworks. Uh, right. Six touchdowns in the last 10 minutes. All right. And here's a great run by James Marable for a first down, working the ball back up the field. Uh, reverses his field. Peyton back to throw. Hits, hits a great catch by Wilhelms. A tight end on a, a flood play to the weak side. Here we're running off that edge again now. We had found a weak spot in their defensive alignment and really exploited it very well. Here's Marable uh, jamming it in from one yard out. Uh, scores 16-14, I believe. And our defense goes out and gets the ball right here. What a, you know, we talked about turnovers being important. There it is, right there on the ground. And the offense comes in and we go to work on that weak spot. James Marable off the right side. And this comes from that uh, heavily loaded receiver set. Now I'd like to talk about this once. Uh, you know, we felt that Northern Iowa, being a heavy blitz team, pr uh, probably wouldn't blitz us because of our speed. There's a blitz and you see what happened. They got and, burned. Uh, that was one of two times in the afternoon that they blitzed. The other, the other time, they faked the blitz and were running back out, and Banks beat him 59 yards for a touchdown. So there's a great hit. Uh, I believe that was uh, 27, David Whitehead on the kickoff. And there they, we hurried him. Pressure caused him to overthrow that ball. <clears throat> Here's another uh, fine play by our secondary. That's uh, Jeff Mills. Uh, Sophomore linebacker. Here we come. We're working that weak side. James is doing a great job of running the ball. What an afternoon he had. And here it is right here. And uh, there's why Roy Banks is an All-American right there. He had two people on him and he still caught it. Right. And Peyton checked it at the line of scrimmage. I've been saying all along that, you know, people don't want to blitz us because Peyton's too good at the line with recognizing man. and. We were just hoping for that pressure from them, and, and uh, we got it one time on a day, and, and you saw the result. <clears throat> Here they're coming back now, and uh, at this point, we're really inspired because we're, we're 12 points up, and, and here we hurry them, and Mills picks it off. Now, as far as I'm concerned, the defense has done their job. It should be in the bag, and we're trying to salt it away, and. That's really the only way that uh, they could get back in the game is a, is a turnover, and unfortunately it happened. Now you've got to respond and uh, shut them down and give Northern Iowa a lot of credit. Uh, they, they were able to find some receivers open, and, and uh, just an unbelievable set of circumstances had to take place, a sequence of events in order for them to, uh, to uh, be able to score and take the lead. And here they, uh, we knocked down the play there and uh, the, here they go to the uh, air and uh, we, we can't believe that was a catch the guy caught it with one hand off Greg Ray's back here we work on this a ball kicked hard should be let go through the front line and we've talked about that we don't kick that in practice and that's our mistake coaching mistake we need to kick that type of ball and uh, but we should have let that go through here they're working the ball down in there again and uh, a great catch by Frankie to set him up. Tremendous defensive uh, play there. And uh, here they go. Uh, I think that was another fourth down play. And, and uh, Frankie caught the ball for a touchdown or whomever. At that point, uh, I, I was uh, 